my name is Salakita, Salakita Kali, um, an AB superstar. Um, I have many names. <laughs> I'm a singer songwriter. Um, that's my main thing. Um, recently, I've become uh, everything from an art curator to a model coordinator, um, just kind of expanding. Um, there's so much to get involved with here. Um, but um, I guess it depends on where you know me from, what you think I am. So I'm from Oakland, California, um, the town. Um, <laughs> and I, that's actually where I started singing and um, performing. I'm very much informed by um, the culture there, you know, um, with it being very multicultural, I was exposed to a lot of like different types of people, but um, there's also, that's the birthplace of the Black Panther Party, that's, um, there's so much history there. Um, everybody knows that the funkiest musicians come from Oakland, you know, Prince, you know, he on the low, you know, Bonnie Boy or Rosie Gaines, all those people, Rafael Sadiq, you know, he came to call that talent from our little country town, city town. Uh, so I'm very proud to be from there, you know, as much as, I mean, I love Atlanta. Like, <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not one of those out of towners that's just like back home, you know, but yeah, yeah, that's where I'm from. Though. Yeah. I think that um, Atlanta is a, great place to, um, even though there's uh, definitely a lot of um, the independent spirit in Oakland, um, for me, I kind of came from, I might want to date myself, but <laughs> like, I came from working more so in the industry, um, like the industry industry, you know, like corporate record label, that kind of energy. Um, and then when I came to Atlanta is when I started to explore my the possibilities of being an independent artist and um, connecting with other artists um, on similar paths and kind of experiencing some of the um, the do-it-yourself um, and feeling more like I was part of a community in some ways um, I would say I experienced um, in Atlanta. It was more of an independent experience where I feel like what I learned in Oakland was how to be an artist um, or or like uh, the professional aspects so I feel like when I came to Atlanta I was already a professional but I wasn't a business professional maybe when I got here and I feel like Atlanta somehow showed me more about being um, my own business right. or yeah or at least m it made me understand what it would t what it would take you know specifically as an independent artist um, um, I feel like I got more of that in Atlanta you know. I feel like it's sort of there's a few things um, there's a surface um, amount of support and love that you feel but it's surface um, and at a certain there's a there's a ceiling and I don't know if it's unique to Atlanta, but it's that, that's where I am right now. So that's what I can speak on. And um, so I've, I think that I've experienced maybe not being all that social of a person, kind of just being about my work, um, I feel like may have cut me off from some opportunities. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's like any other business or thriving, you got to figure out a way to, if that's what you want to do, you got to figure out a way. You, you know, like what, whatever the obstacles are, are no different than it would be if you were trying to be, I don't know, a, a doctor or something, you, you know what I mean? Like there's going to be challenges no matter what you do. So it's wonderful to be challenged doing something that I love to do, you know, I'm just still figuring it out. <laughs> I think it would be easier to to be um, a full-time artist um, if there was more of an infrastructure where people are playing their their part so you can focus on being I think it would make the art stronger if you could if you as an artist could just focus on the work on getting 
becoming the best singer or trumpet player or whatever it is that you do and promoters are, are focused on being the best promoters you know people who are scouting for talent are truly interested in talent first you know unique talent not just somebody who's going to be like the last person that you were successful with um, I, I think there also needs to be an embracing of what's new um, particularly I feel like the hip-hop community um, is constantly embracing what's new but I feel like some of the more alternative markets or soul or some of those some of that I'm talking about music in particular um, it's a little bit stagnant um, people kind of just keep going to the same pool you know and then you may have um, people kind of crossing over jobs you know like someone who's supposed to be a publicist also sings so are you their priority or <laughs> you know are a good opportunity comes and they're putting themselves in the magazine you know that kind of stuff um, so I, I think if there was more of a team mentality um, where each person is playing their position, it would be easier for Atlanta to continue to be the, have the cultural impact in a more diverse way, you know, than just, you know, the Housewives of Atlanta or, you know, some of the things that are the dominant perception of what Atlanta is. You know, like, who is it being marketed to? Who knows about it? And by the time, how many slots are there? Right. Who do you have to be to mm. get that? You know what I mean? Like, to get that studio space? Oh, you know they have. They're offering artist re residencies. Blah blah. And you see, it's the same, same people. It was done before you ever applied. You know, like, you know, it doesn't even matter. Why'd you even put your little, you know, portfolio together and send it to them? Because they already knew who they were going to give it to. It was a formality announcing it. You know, that, that kind of thing. Um, so. It's, it's like